Okay, and welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to make a glow effect with Jimp. So, first thing, we always open up Jimp. And there we go. Now, make a new a uh, file and I usually just do standard background size 1600 by 1200 okay then you want to color this background black cuz it looks way better black now we're going to just jump straight into this and make a path and just drag that path however you whoops and drag that path however you want it to look I'm going to make mine look like this and stroke the path and uh, try stroking it at oh, let's go 8 pixels there we go then we'll go layer new layer and we're gonna make this glow effect 1 dot okay now choose the color you want the glow effect to be so I'm gonna go with blue and we'll stroke that path and stroke it I'm gonna go 16 twice as big and filters, blur, Gaussian blur. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's how I pronounce it. And just drag it over to the preview window. And you probably want it to be like a 20 is good. That'll make it nice and blurry, and we have a very nice glow effect here. Now we can, you can do this for anything. So, for instance, text. We'll make this bigger white text. Okay, and you can do the little alpha to selection thing, layers, alpha to selection, and then, um, of course, this is kind of how we did it with the borders on my other tutorials, select, well, actually, layer, new layer, name is glow effect text dot, and you can go select grow and let's grow it by five and then you can uh, fill that in with the color you want so for instance I'll go with the same blue again okay and that'll fill the whole selection then you go to filters blur Gaussian blur and then for a text you want to be able to see through the blur so you're probably gonna have to raise it to something like 50 and there we go that makes us a pretty uh, shiny glowy text and when you create the paths well whoops oh, it's just a duplicate doesn't matter you just can create the paths and sometimes uh, when you want to have them intersect just stroke that with an 8 hold on it's not stroking well I'm not quite sure why it oh I see now duh sorry about that I'm kind of winging it there we go okay then pick your color blue again Stroke path 16. Okay, filters, blur, Gaussian blur. You want to bring it down to 20, otherwise, it won't even look like a glow. There we go. And then uh, we probably want to create some highlights and after effects. So, what you can do is filter I and mean, layer, new layer, we'll name this after effects dot okay then switch it to white and FG to transparent and go ahead and select radial as your layer thing now right where you want the lines to intersect drag how big you want your circle to be so yeah that's good it makes them look very light I like that then just uh, you can drag some more dots just to make it look nice OK, 
Okay, and one more up here. Maybe one down here. It's easy to get carried away. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm going to airbrush, and since our main color was blue, I'll just do that. Make this the biggest circle you can go. And make it kind of like a lens flare, you know? And then uh, a bit slightly smaller. And you can also do some white circles. There we go. And then, of course, you can actually do a lens flare by going light and shadow and the filters and doing lens flare. And if you want to do a lens flare, you should probably do it to where the brightest thing is that makes it more realistic, just a bit offset of where it is. So this pointer thing tells me where my lens flare is. There we go. Actually, I don't think it'll show. I should, yeah, I really should cancel that. I need to merge all the layers. There we go. Now I can create a nice uh, lens flare. So this will open up there. That's much more visible. Yeah. And so you can see this cross section right here. That'll show you where the lens flare is going to go, aside from the giant flare. It's not blindingly obvious or anything. Now I find usually just above the object is the best. So kind of like that. That'll look good. And it'll take a while to render, like everything else. And while we're waiting, we can just make some more dots. Ah, too bright. But that's good. Okay, it's about to render. And there we go jump know-how on the glow effects so thank you very much for watching this tutorial and i hope it helped you at least some all right then till next time